Many people travel to see ancient sites and modern architecture. I also do that. But there is another thing that I really like. Abandoned places. This building is really the crown jewel of this national park here. Entering here might not be the best of ideas. I have found the biggest abandoned airport in Germany. This building is absolutely massive. Don't do this at home. Wow. I don't want anyone to spot me from the distance. I mean, seriously, there must be a way. Was machst du hier? Guten Tag. Hello from East Germany. You might know that this region has a very dark past. Now we are about one hour south of Berlin and most of the traces of what happened here throughout the last 100 years were carefully erased for good reason. But some are still left. So let's go look for those. Come and join me. Now we are here in a town called Belitz, close to the city of Potsdam and this town has a forest, the one we are in right now and apparently this forest is home to one of the most incredible abandoned locations in all of Germany. So let's go have a look what we can find here. Now walking here feels like walking in any other forest in Europe. However, there are some fences, you might have noticed those, and these fences are here for a reason. They are here because of this building. Now, this building used to be a hospital and it's now completely abandoned. However, this hospital has a very dark history. Let me tell you a little bit about it. It was first built in 1902 and then it was just a normal sanatorium slash hospital, but after that, it was used in both world wars, the First World War and the Second World War. And during the Second World War, it was the place where Hitler himself was treated for injuries. So this hospital has had some very high profile guests. Now, after the Second World War, this region we are in right now became the DDR, the German Democratic Republic. And this republic was a communist satellite state of the Soviet Union. And during that time, this hospital was also the place where the communist leadership got treated. And even the leader himself, Erich Honecker, who had to flee to South America at the beginning of the 90s, was treated here. So yeah, lots of high profile guests. And this building that we just saw is actually just a very small part of the facility. So I'm now going to explore a little bit more and see whether we can get closer. Now this building here is actually the kitchen and utilities building so this is where they stored the food and everything else and wow it looks incredible I would love to enter but as you can see here the Germans are quite serious about nobody entering without permission but also this is a national park it's all very official it's actually quite nice and there are some hiking parts as well so yeah it's a pretty cool place but you can't enter the buildings and there's very little chance of sneaking in but who knows this whole complex of hospitals and sanatoriums was actually a lung healing facility so for anybody who had lung diseases they came here and yeah today it's a national park and they even have a little food truck here and some ice cream some sausages Oh, and here's another building. Let's go check it out. Again, they are so well fenced off, these buildings. Even if you wanted to sneak in, there would be no chance. Just look at it. I mean, if you were to climb this stuff, they would notice immediately because there's cameras everywhere. But yeah, still very nice place. And this is just the first stop on our little journey across abandoned Germany. So I guess we'll find some other stuff which won't be so fenced off. Now, let's continue a little bit. Now, the interesting part is actually here because they built some kind of elevated bridge going over the trees. 
and I think that from there you will have a nice view. So let's head up there. To be honest, I didn't expect this journey to be this easy because here to find abandoned buildings, you just walk over a very nice footbridge and you have to pay 13 euros to get in here. I have to say that's quite a lot of money for a footbridge, but it's very beautiful. Oh, and now we are actually getting to one of the big hospital buildings. We are now coming up to the main surgery building and there it is. It's actually huge and they are doing some repairs. Not sure why because this building has been abandoned for almost 30 years. But yeah, this is the surgery building where the most important people in the Third Reich and in the communist DDR were treated. Talking about communism, something very interesting is that when the Soviet Union collapsed, the DDR also collapsed in 1991, but they actually kept this a secret facility until 1994, when they first let people enter. Now we are continuing on this path above the trees, and there's actually another building where the whole roof has been reclaimed by nature. Wow, how cool would it be to go in there? But no chance. You can see there the building is completely reclaimed by nature, but also sealed off. No chance. But this is a very nice hiking path. Now, when I came to East Germany to find some abandoned remnants of, well, communism and what was before communism, I didn't expect it to be just a nice walk on a footbridge, but I think that will change in the coming days. Wow, look at this building. This building is absolutely massive and everything is just reclaimed by nature. There's actually some graffiti inside. I don't know if you can see that from the shots, but that means that some people have been in there. But yeah, that's probably licensed graffiti artists. If something like that exists, I'm pretty sure it exists in Germany because they might just have called somebody to paint the inside walls. Because I can't imagine that they would let people just trespass here because everything here is so well secured and the fences are huge and there's cameras everywhere. So I don't think that this was some kind of underground graffiti job. We are now going back down and I have to say this path above the crowns of the trees is definitely worth it. Even though it's a bit expensive at 13 euros, it's really a cool place to come if you are in Berlin, because this is about an hour south of Berlin. So if you want to do a day trip or something like that. And yeah, here you can see the fences and everything. So there's an opening to go up to the bridge, but then everything else is completely fenced off. And now I have to find the exit must be here somewhere. So yeah, this has been a really cool experience walking on this footbridge and seeing this huge abandoned hospital. But around 20 kilometers from here, there's actually another really impressive abandoned building and it's a different kind of infrastructure. Now, I have read conflicting reports on whether you can actually go there or whether it's completely fenced off with uh, cameras and everything. But from the pictures, it seems like you can. So I'm gonna try my best and I'll see you there. It was time to move on. After a quick and unhealthy lunch at a service station, I continued at a leisurely pace on a de-restricted German highway. In no time at all, I covered the 25 or so kilometers to my next stop. Now we have driven on for about 40 kilometers and we are now in a town called Rangsdorf or Rangsdorf as the Germans would say. And at first glance, this just looks like any other German provincial town, but this town actually has an abandoned World War II airport. And apparently it's not a small airport, it's quite a big one. Now I have no clue whether it's accessible, whether it's fenced off, I actually read some conflicting information on the internet. So some people say you can't enter, some people say you can, others say you can see it from outside. So I think I'll just go explore and see whether we can find this airport. This is actually a pretty nice town, Rangsdorf. Lots of 
elegant properties here, but now I have to find this airport. It's supposedly somewhere here, but I can't see anything. Oh, but over there, there's actually a tree line, so some kind of forest starting, and it might be there. According to Google, it shouldn't be far. But yeah, it's a pretty nice town. You can actually see here, there's a river, and this, or a stream, I should say, and this stream flows into a lake, which is over there. We can go check that out later, but first, let's go find the abandoned airport. Still walking around here in the forest, and I have now found some fences. That actually looks a bit more interesting, because fences mean that there is something behind them, otherwise they wouldn't put up fences. But these look very old. It might actually be from the time when the airport was still active. Now, here's another little view of the lake. Very nice, this place. You know, when you are like 14 or 15 and you want to meet your crush somewhere, but not in your parents' house, this is exactly the place where you would come to. It's a little bench on a nice romantic lake. But yeah, we are here to find abandoned places. So let's continue. Hallo, entschuldigen äh, Sie, wissen Sie, ob man da irgendwie zu dem Flughafen kommt? Ja, da müssen Sie hier vorne den ersten Querweg links gehen und dann okay. immer geradeaus. Okay. Und dann kommen Sie genau hin. Ah, kommt man da auch rein ins, äh, ins Gelände? Also kommt man, aber ist zwar ein Zaun, aber sind so unheimlich viele Lücken. Kommt man okay, rein. Ja, super, super, danke schön. Wir sind auch immer da, zeigen immer allen Leuten alles. Ah, okay, ja, <lacht> yeah. danke schön. Komm, Lucy. What a legend. This local man walking his dog just explained to me how to get to the airport. So apparently I have to walk left here. And he also said that there is a fence, but it has lots of holes apparently. So you should be able to get through. Now how legal that is, is a different question. But he told me as well that uh, whenever he has guests, he shows them the airport because it's something special. So yeah, nice people, the Rangsdorfians. Really cool guy. Now, let's go and find this place. Now I'm super excited. I was really not confident to find it by myself, but that's the thing with abandoned buildings. You do have to ask around a bit. Now, I think this might actually be the airfield already. Let's go and see. I think I have found it. This is a fence and it looks very old and rusty and behind it are the remains of some barbed wires. So now let's see, can we get in somehow? Oh, and here's a part where there is no fence. You know what I say to that? Bingo. Now nobody should tell me that this is illegal because, well, look at it. I am not trespassing here. I'm just walking in a field, that's all I'm doing. So now, let's see, there's the first building, you know, it's so overgrown here, the grass is really high, that shows that nobody has done any work here for many decades, but yeah, let's find the building here. Okay, so this is some kind of building, with a lot of graffiti, but not that interesting. I don't think that this is part of the actual airport. This might just be some adjacent building. But yeah, let's continue a little bit. I'm sure that we will find something great now because we've already passed the fence. Now everything is completely overgrown here and I still can't see anything except for this building that I just saw. But I'm still confident that this is the right place because of the fences. They don't look like ordinary fences. Oh, and there's actually some kind of hill. I think I'll go up there because I should have a better view and see where the airport actually is. Now I have climbed this hill and I have finally seen what I came here to see, this building. That's the old terminal. So now I'll quickly go down because I don't want anyone to spot me from the distance. And then let's go and explore the abandoned airport. Okay, through the plants. 
running a bit here. Oh no, this looks like a dead end. Let's see, can we go through here? Okay, there's another fence, but again, hole in the fence. Let's see. Hell, I can't find a way through here. I mean, seriously, there must be a way. There must be a way. Now I'm sweating like a dog and I've probably been bitten 100 times by mosquitoes, but I finally found a way. And there is the airport. There it is. Let's go in and see. This is the terminal building and it's quite big. I mean, it's not just a small, you know, mini airfield. It's an actual airport. Amazing. And this right here is a tarmac. I have found the biggest abandoned airport in Germany. Germany's lost Third Reich airfield. So yeah, let me catch my breath and then I explain something about this incredible airport. So now we are in front of the terminal building of Rangstorf Airport and I think that now is a good moment to explain what this airport actually is and the history of it. Oh look, there are some chairs and I guess somebody had a barbecue here, something like that. And yeah, this airport opened in 1936 and it was supposed to be a sports and leisure airport for small planes. But when the war broke out in 1939, the Third Reich, so the dictatorship, they actually converted this airport into a Luftwaffe facility. So fighter planes were starting from here, including the famous Messerschmitts. And some of these planes were actually bombing England and other places. And then when the war ended in 1945, the Soviets took over this airport and also used it as a military airport. So Soviet fighter planes were here as well. So yeah, this place does have a very eventful history. Now, let's go and see if we can go inside. I'm not sure, but I think it should be possible. Well, this is open. Now I should say, please don't do this at home. Wow, it's completely overgrown. And there was actually a basketball hall. Are you kidding me? And the roof has already collapsed. Now I'm not gonna walk too far into this building because, well, it doesn't look very stable. And I don't wanna be buried under whatever this roof is made of, but wow graffiti and this used to be a basketball court so I guess that was converted into a basketball court when uh, the airport was abandoned in 94 now let's go out again Heute Nachmittag hier in dem hinteren Bereich ja. alles hier ja, okay dann nicht durchs Bild laufen dann werde ich sauer ja ja kein Problem okay was ist das? Was? Was machst du hier? Ich mache einfach nur Fotos. Ne, ich komme, ich laufe hier nicht mehr vorbei. Kein Problem. Also ich gehe dann... Ich bin nur hier, ich bin hier in dem ganzen Bereich. Ich möchte dass mir jemand durchs Bild läuft. Ja, 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 ich sehe ja die Kamera, ist ja gut. Kein Problem. Okay, schönen Nachmittag noch. Ciao. What an unfriendly guy. He didn't even say hi, he just straight yelled at me and told me not to walk in front of his camera. I mean, I can see the camera. I'm not just gonna walk in front of it without at least asking. I mean, who does he think he is? It's not his abandoned airport. It belongs to everybody, it's abandoned. Now, he actually banned me from all the areas behind this building. He told me that he doesn't want anybody behind this building where he's taking pictures. I mean, seriously. Now let's go and explore some more buildings here at Rangstorf Airport. 
Now this one, I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Yeah, some kind of administrative building. Wow, look at this. Oh, this is actually some kind of engine room, I guess, because there are some machines. Maybe someone in the comments knows what this is, but yeah, this doesn't look very stable either. Over there, the roof has already collapsed. Here are some more abandoned buildings. Now, let's see. Can we go in there? No, this is closed. There's obviously some graffiti and tagging. But yeah, this is some other administrative building, I suppose. Oh, there's the fence. So I guess that the main buildings uh, this one right here, which is the terminal building, this one, and the one where we saw the um, the graffiti and the dilapidated stairs, and then there's a few more where the guy is taking pictures. I spent the night in a little guest house on the outskirts of Berlin. After a good night's sleep and a hearty German breakfast, it was time to hit the road again. Now I've driven into the forest again and I'm in a town called Wünsdorf in the middle of nowhere around 50 kilometers from Berlin and apparently there is another huge abandoned military complex here. So let's go and see if we can find that. Come and join me. During the Second World War, the area of Wünsdorf was home to a massive military complex. The entire German high command was stationed here. Most of the abandoned military infrastructure was destroyed and the remaining buildings are being turned into apartment complexes. Nevertheless, you can still visit some bunkers on guided tours. Unfortunately, I didn't do my research properly. Hallo. Hallo. Um, also die nächste Führung ist um, um 14 Uhr. Richtig. Ich gesehen, um, kann man auch, weil ich kann jetzt, ich bin auf der Durchreise, ich kann leider nicht bis 14 Uhr warten, kann man auch einfach draußen herumlaufen. Nein, das Gelände ist alles komplett zu. Richtig. Okay. Now that wasn't very successful. She was telling me that there's only one tour per day and it's at 2 p.m. Now it's 10 a.m. However, I can't wait until 2 p.m. because I've got a lot of road to cover and I can't just leave here at 4. That's too late. So she said to me that there is nothing to see from outside, but I don't think that that's the case. Now this impressive building here is part of the bunker complex and it's called Winkel Tower. So they use this as a defensive fortification. And now it stands in front of these houses and there's actually a sign saying that nobody can go to the tower, that it's only for people who live there, the whole park, even the one that I'm in right now. So I guess I'm already trespassing again. My God, why are they always so complicated with these things here in Germany? Now let's continue. As I said before, I'm not gonna give up that easily. I wanna find some stuff to show you guys here. Let's continue. Now the video isn't over yet because I just asked some people at this Greek restaurant and they gave me another tip. They said that I should go to another town right next to here and then there are some more military buildings which aren't part of this apartment complex. So yeah, now I have no clue whether this tip will be worthwhile but I'm gonna try because otherwise there's nothing more to see here but yeah let's go now it's really not easy visiting abandoned places here in Germany especially the ones from the Second World War and I haven't yet found the building that the people in the Greek restaurant told me about but I found something else namely a cemetery so as you might know this region East Germany was very heavily touched during both world wars, the first one and the second one. And this cemetery here was also used during both world wars to bury soldiers mostly. So let's go have a look what we can find here. Now this is a very interesting monument. It's dedicated to the Tatar Muslims from the Kazan region in Russia. And apparently these Muslim fighters were in the Russian army during the First World War and they were killed 
by the German soldiers during the First World War. I didn't know that, so that's something we learned. Oh, and here it says Commonwealth War Graves. So I guess that's from the First World War as well. Let's go have a look. All right, so these are the graves of the Indian soldiers that were fighting for the British Empire during World War I. Wow, that's interesting. Now here, you can see this Hindu soldier of the Indian army is honored here. Wow. As you can see, lots of Indian and Hindu graves. Now, I expected to find a lot of things here in East Germany, but not an Indian cemetery. Very interesting. There are some more graves. What I like about these graves is that they have these swords on them. Really cool. Now let's continue a little bit. So there are several cemeteries here. And this is right next to where the German army headquarters were. So it's really a historic territory this. I mean this region has really suffered in the 20th century. During both world wars and then during communism. It's kind of one of those regions that still bears the scars of its history. So obviously during the First World War this was the German Empire and the German Empire extended into modern-day Poland. It was much bigger than today and then after the Treaty of Versailles in 1919 the German Empire lost a lot of its territory. And yeah, this cemetery is mostly dedicated to the First World War and it's nice and I didn't expect to find something like this here. So yeah, now it's time to go find some more abandoned buildings. Now I've driven on to the next town, which is another place with lots of former Second World War bunkers and military complexes. However, the whole area is now private property and they are renovating some old buildings and building new ones. So this whole area is now some kind of residential complex and it's very difficult to see anything but I've heard that there are still some places left. Entering here might not be the best of ideas. Look at these old barbed wires. They are very rusty, but this shows that this was a military building. Wow, I think there it's fenced off again. Let's see if there's a fence. But yeah, here's the old officer's building. And there's a fence. I think I better get the hell out of here before somebody sees me. Now I've actually continued for a few hundred meters and I can't tell you how I continued but I did and this is what's happening. They are renovating all the stuff that was here. So this whole complex here, Wünsdorf, this was the main headquarters of the German army, the Wehrmacht, during World War II. From here they actually planned all their attacks and military maneuvers and unfortunately the whole place is now private property and you can't really see much anymore apart from a few bunkers where they have a guided tour once a day but yeah I'm a little bit disappointed now but I'm just gonna try to see some more there's lots of people working on these buildings but there you can see these were old military complexes. This is actually the house where the officers were living. Now I have no clue whether this is part of the building site or whether I can walk here, but I've been here for about two minutes and so far I haven't been told off. So that's fine. Just imagine what kind of high profile generals were here during the Second World War. They were planning everything from here. Especially when Berlin was being attacked, they moved all of the important military headquarters to Wünsdorf, 50 kilometers south. And now there are a few walls. Now we are standing in front of the main entrance gate to the officer's house. So all of this dates from the Second World War. And as you can see, it's all fenced off with cameras everywhere and yeah. To be honest, entering there is just 
too big of a risk, especially since the guys working in the museum are already aware of my presence. Now, I can't really tell you how I did it, but I did manage to get inside. Unfortunately, all the buildings were sealed off and some of the entrances had walls in them. So I couldn't get into the buildings, but at least I got a little peek at what used to be a huge military complex. Now walking along the main entrance gate of the military complex again. And there's the building site. So this will look like this very soon. And yeah, I have to say there really isn't that much to see here unless you do the guided tour, but that's obviously something you have to plan ahead because it's not happening very often. And yeah, I think I'll end the video here. Thanks very much for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.